Hi, and welcome back to Ask a Pennsylvania Dutchman. My name is Chris LaRose. This here is Doug Maidenford, our resident Pennsylvania Dutchman. How are you, Doug? My, I'm doing just dandy. Ah, oh, that's good to hear. So, do you have anything you want to say before we get going? No, with no, no, no. Let's go. Man, a few words. I'm ready. All right. Well, that plays perfectly in today's topic. This question comes in from Larry of Newcastle County, Delaware. Delaware? Delaware. All right. He says. Do you know what Delaware. No, I'm not going to. Go okay. ahead. That's a bad joke. <laughs> well, now people are going to be writing in to ask. Yeah, Thanks, maybe. Doug. All right, so. Larry says Hello, gentlemen. I know Pennsylvania German isn't considered a romance language, <clears throat> but if I were trying to win the affection of a young lady by speaking Pennsylvania Dutch to her, are there any traditional phrases or expressions I might use? Well, that's a great question, and Larry's right. It's we are not a Romance language like Italian or French or Spanish, but we're a Germanic-based language. But that doesn't mean we don't have love. I mean, we don't show love and affection. I don't think you know, we we really we don't use words. It's just uh, you know, there's a lot of ways. It all to, begins and ends with scrapple. Some so. no, well, maybe sometimes you know, it's there's a lot of ways to woo a woman, right? Mm -hmm. And yeah. people have been trying to figure this out for and years. And nobody's ever figured it well, out. Well, no, I think the Pennsylvania Dutch have some ways of going around it. We've talked about some things already. Like we did a, remember the video on Elvidrich hunting? When we go out, take a girl Elvidrich hunting. And you're mm -hmm. out there in the woods by yourself. But he wants, he wants phrases. Yeah. How do you get her to go on the Elvidrich? Oh, I, you could say, in die Haas or a my Haas. Yeah, in Pennsylvania Dutch, you could say that. That's pretty straightforward, though. Yeah. Like it's yeah, in in in, in die Haas or my Haas, if you don't speak Dutch, you probably figure it out. But <laughs> your plays are my plays. Maybe you want to start off by saying, "Well, why don't we go take a walk together?" Maybe. maybe no, well, how do you say that Dutch? But. Well, you mean like so? If you go up to, but the problem is, how many Dutch girls are you gonna find that speak Pen that speak Pennsylvania Dutch? You might want to just break the ice at first with with something else. Well, if you use the Dutch phrases, that's how you know they're worth going after. Well, that's true. If they answer in Dutch, and you you've already weeded out the bad ones. Well, I guess it then depends on the kind of person that you are. You could be direct and upfront, and and say something like, "We do my broad washed Sena." <laughs> <laughs> but that takes a circle. <laughs> we do my broad washed Sena, which literally means, do, do uh, you want to see my fried sausage? Uh, Maybe, but that takes, a certain, that takes a certain kind of person that'd be willing to say that. But if the girl... You better hope they don't speak Dutch. If the say girl that. says yes, well then you know something about her. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you yeah, yeah, you do. <laughs> well, you know, there might be other phrases like, you know, even if you just ask her, you know, if you're trying to get to know the girl, you know, just say something like, so, uh, do you put apple butter on your cottage cheese? And these are little things that'll kind of give away how Dutchy she is. Now you, you know gotta, I mean? well, he wants to say it in Dutch, so oh, I say that in Dutch. So, do you lot bar hoof die in your case? Again, you got. And they say this isn't a romance. No, that's what? <laughs> cottage cheese and apple butter go together. That's a, I mean, that, that's like you're signaling romance and love there. Two things that perfectly go together. And if she says yes, again, you know, these are cues that if they say like, oh yeah, well then you got yourself something you need to pursue. Yeah. Or you could always just go with the old standard, gleich du beer. Gleich du beer, yeah. Or a mit du ein beer mit mir trinke. You want to have a beer with me? You could say something like that. I I don't know. And that's that I never had to think of. You know, my wife, my wife, she saw me once. I didn't even have to say anything. Yeah, she found him. She found me, and it was proverbial love at first sight. If side. you're a good Dutchman, you don't have to say anything. Yeah, we put off a musk. Yeah. That just <laughs> it. Just, we do. It's true. And. Women are naturally drawn to a, you know, a real Pennsylvania Dutchman. Not these fake or, oh, hey, that's the, that's the bell. Well, I guess that's our time. No, <laughs> no, we're gonna keep going. Don't worry, it's only a drill. Uh, <laughs> you know, we put off a musk, like I'm saying, and you know, a woman notices that, and she comes to you. 
Well. So I'm gonna tell, I imagine this Larry guy, he's probably Pennsylvania Dutch, but even though he lives in Delaware, the musk goes with us over state lines. Oh yeah. It knows no geographical boundaries. <laughs> I would, I would just say he miles. just needs to go out on a walk, and women will naturally be drawn to him. But you gotta know it's gonna work. You can't. You gotta it. have confidence. You, just gotta, you gotta go walking and know you're gonna catch one. Yeah, it, it, yeah, it's it's all about confidence. Yeah. Well, so you know, a good Dutchman's confident about who he is. No, we just solved the age-old question: is how to attract women, and uh, it just comes down to just be a Dutchman. Yeah, that's it's easy. that simple. Should have known that sooner. Yeah. Well, not us, but... Well, then. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, I hope that helps, Larry. Yeah. You can use one of the phrases, but honestly, just walk down the street with your head held high. Say, hey. And wink at them. And wink. Yeah, wink. Dutch. Yeah, wink. Wink. Yeah, wink in a Pennsylvania Dutch accent. Yeah. It works. All right. So, uh, well, you heard it from the Dutchman. My name is Chris LaRose. This here is Doug Mainford. And until next time, mock scoot. Mock scoot. Hey, we do my broad wash thing. <laughs> I used that one. Oh, uh, how'd that work for you? She it? didn't speak Dutch. So she, <laughs> she thought I was drunk. She slapped you in Dutch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd slap you just for saying nothing. <laughs> if you have a question why you have to email us at busterpa at yahoo.com.